Okay, fifth graders, your homework tonight is uh, working with prime numbers. Let's first list uh, some of the prime numbers that we know. I'm going to turn my page sideways because we've got a lot. So some that we've learned, we know two is prime. We know three and five, seven, 11, 13, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41, 47, 53, 59, and then I can start second row because I'm running out of room, 61, 67, 71, 73, 79, 83, 89, 101, 103, 107, 109, 113, and uh, I'll do one more and then I'm running out of room, 127. We'll add more if we need to. All right, so this gives us something to start with. If you recall from the lesson we've been doing the last couple days, prime numbers only have the factors one and itself. Those are the only two factors. One is not prime. One isn't prime because it doesn't have two factors. It only has the factor one. So we're, we have to get the worm all the way to the apple here. So looking for a number off of our list, that's prime. And I think 137 will do it. I'm gonna switch to a pencil so I can erase if I need to. Okay, and now I'm gonna start looking. 30 is not prime. If you notice our list, almost all prime numbers are odd. The one exception is two. So if we see an even number, we know that we can eliminate those as possible choices. 103, is it on our list? Can we make 103, is that a prime? Sure it is, here we go. An even number, an even number, possibly one of these, but I'm guessing it's gonna go straight down. So 13 is a prime, sure it is. The only factors of 13 are one and three. Now I've got an even number, so I'm thinking it's not gonna be prime, because it's even. Um, we've got a choice of 105 or 11. I know 11 is prime. Next, I could go 112, it's even, or 127. It's odd, is it on our list? 127, yep, it's the last one we did on our list. And next, I've got 55, is 55 prime? It's odd, nope, 11 times five is 55, so that's not gonna be that one. How about, we could go 108, but that's kinda go, that's an even one. 109, I believe 109 is prime. And if we go down, we've got an even number. Wouldn't really want to go up, but we know three is prime. Forty-two is even. How about one hundred thirty-five? Is that one? Anytime it ends in a five or a zero, we know it's likely a composite number. It is a composite number because it's divisible by five or or a ten. So it's being that's a five. Nope, it's not. It's not prime. 73, however, is prime, so now we're going up. And 119 is not on our list, uh, but 17 is. If it isn't, it should be. 108 is even, but 13 is prime. I'm looking over here and I don't see 17 and it's bugging me because 17 is prime. All right, so we left off at, at 13. Even, divisible by five, won't work. 131 is a prime number. Is 
divisible by 5, even, even, 107. That will work. This one's even. And we could go this way as well, 17. And I don't think we'd want to go back, so let's go this way, 17. Even or 37? Yep, 37 is prime. And I bet you recognize that 17 because we just did a 17. 72? Nope, 8 times 9 is 72, so that won't work. 43 is not on my list, but I'm thinking it's prime. Let me double check. So here we go. 43 is prime. We'll shake that one in. And we know 3 is prime, so we can just keep on going. We've got even, even, divisible by 5, but 37 should work. And 39 should work. Oh, wait a minute. No, 39 won't work. But 41 will. Here we can use our divisibility rules. If you recall, um, if you add up the digits, 9 plus 3 will equal 12, and that's divisible by, um, by both 2 and 6. So this one is divisible by, I'm sorry, it's divi I said it wrong. It's, it's even. The sum of the digits is even, divisible by 2. And it's also divisible by 3, making it divisible by 6. So this one is divisible by 6 and 3. Not prime. So moving on down, 5 is prime. Have we made it to our apple yet? Is 108 prime? Probably not. It is not because it is even. It won't work. 71, however, is prime. Slowly but surely we're getting there. Even, so it's not prime. 69, again, if we add up the digits, 6 plus 9, it's going to be divisible by 3. 5, <coughs> however, is prime, so we'll move this way. And if you need this sheet, it's available online, too. I put it at the bottom under homework. And then 107 is a prime number. 69 is not. Some of the digits is divisible by 3, so not. 71, however, is. And 23 is. Even number, even number, must be 43, sure enough, that one's prime. And 7 is prime. Even number, even number, there's 3, that one's prime, and 13 is also prime. A 103 is prime. This one's even, so it's not. Remember, there's only one even number that's prime, and that's 2. 137 is prime. Even, it's not. 13 is prime. This one's got a 5 in it, so it's divisible by 5. 107 should do it for us. Even, even, don't want those. 73 is prime. Divisible by 5 and even, and divisible by 10, so not prime. Those are called composite, and we've got 31 as prime. Even, even, so then we've got 127, which is prime. Even, sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So that one, nope, and 67 is prime. 30 is even. Uh, this one, 9 times 3 is 27. This one's even. 
end, so we've got 83, which is prime. Even, so we can eliminate it. So 17 is prime. Even. That one's even, so we've got 131. Even. Divisible by 5, so we've got 109. This one's even. This is 7 times 7 is 49, so it's a composite. That means it has more than factors of 1 in itself. It has 7 also. This one only has 1 in 19, so that makes it prime. And we've got 2 in a row, so we can just keep going up. And we can keep going. 41 is also prime. This one's even, so it's divisible by 2. We know that's not. Here's 17. That one's prime. And 119, <coughs> if we keep on going. Um, actually, 119 is not, but 43 is. I'll draw this way. Really making this work. 7 is also prime. It's only got the factor, it only has the factors 1 times 7. 89 is prime. I think we found our way. 89 is prime, and so is 79. We made it to the apple. Long way around, but we made it to the apple. Nice job. Thanks for working with me.